Well, we must alert the ton at once, <laughs> for I am betrothed to a fine gentleman. I have absolutely no idea how to start this video without sounding like an absolute cheese fest and being like, I'm engaged. <laughs> I've also just realized there's a balloon resting on the cactus, which feels like a mild recipe for disaster. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I am engaged. We are engaged. Adam and I are engaged. Um, <laughs> I actually can't. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm making this video. I am an engaged woman. <laughs> what on earth? I basically, it's really blustery and very autumn wintry outside and it feels so nice and cozy in the house right now. And I just thought it would be really nice to sit down and have a chat with you about something pretty big that happened. In the time that I have been making videos on YouTube, Whenever something big has happened or, you know, we hit a major life milestone around here or, you know, my life changes in certain ways, I have always come on here and chatted to you about it and shared it. And, ooh, I feel a little bit emotional thinking about that. Um, Cause this is like, this is the next one, I guess. Um, it's very much the start of a new chapter, I think. And it just felt only right that I, Put a nice big cozy jumper on and pulled up a chair, made a cup of coffee and I just thought it would be really nice to sit and have a chat with you about it. I haven't seen any of my friends in person to talk about it yet so this is kind of like my first experience of that of like sitting down at the table with my pals and having a hot drink and chatting all about it and I think you might be able to see behind me I know it'll all be kind of blurred if I move out the way slightly and I do this um, you might be able to see that there is banners and cards and balloons and flowers. And we came back to all of this after we landed back at Heathrow on Monday morning. Um, we arrived back home at probably about 9am, I think. And the whole living room was decorated. There's like balloons everywhere. And it was the most lovely, wholesome, amazing surprise from our friends and family. My friend Gemma had baked a cake for us. I think it comes quite rarely in life that you stop and take a moment and actually kind of take note of how lucky and loved you are. And there's been a couple of things this year that have given me that feeling and it just feels like an all encompassing, very safe and very happy realization that so many people around you are genuinely happy for you and a big part of that for me is when we shared it online and it really made me kind of like stop and take check of how lucky I am to be so supported by you so I just want to take a moment to say I really appreciate if you sent the ridiculously lovely messages and comments and even if you liked the photo that we posted on Instagram and stuff like it all just really really means a lot and has made me feel incredibly lucky. So I just wanted to say that first. So we got engaged on the 26th of October, which was our first day um, in New England. We'd already stopped off in the morning for a cup of coffee at a lovely little coastal spot called Portsmouth. We drove up to a ridiculously picturesque, lovely little place called Sandwich, which had the most perfect library I've ever seen in my life and one of those white churches that just made me feel like we were in a 90s rom-com film. Like every corner we turned, it felt like the set of like a small town romance. And as we were coming into there, we randomly drove past this beautiful lake, which was all surrounded by the most kind of like gorgeous autumnal setting it was just absolutely stunning the water was like perfectly still so it was all reflected so perfectly i took a little video so i'll pop that in right here just so you can you can really get the vibes and then as we left sandwich to move on to where we were spending the night which was a place called conway we were coming back up towards it so i said oh we're going past that lake should we stop off and go and like admire it because golden hour was just coming in so the colors were just absolutely incredible. So I just hopped out the car thinking nothing of it, thinking we go and take some cute photos and get back on the road basically. As I started walking up, he was like, oh, I'm just gonna grab my jacket. I was like, 
okay it's very it's it's very warm it's unseasonably warm but sure so he went like to the back seat of the car where his jacket and also his backpack was and as we started walking from the car i just i just got this little i don't know something clicked in my mind it was like is this wait a sec and i was just chatting away mindlessly i was probably like can you believe it's so pretty isn't this beautiful we're so lucky blah, blah. just rambling away and then there was just this moment where he like held my arms and like turned me around to face him <laughs> and like in the fraction of a second before he even got down on one knee and we just like locked eyes i knew it was about to happen i could just he looked so like excited but nervous there was just like it was like a, an expression on his face that i'd never seen before and it just like the the energy like changed and he got down on one knee and produced <laughs> this this ring from inside his jacket he said some beautiful things which i'm gonna keep between us but it was very emotional and the only word i can use is is perfect and he asked me to marry him and i obviously said yes we stayed there for quite a long time just kind of talking about it i was completely in shock come completely in shock i think adam was slightly in shock that it had actually happened and he'd actually done it we were both so the word i keep like using to describe it to my friends is giddy like we both we were both just like in this in slightly insane like giddy state it was so pure and wholesome and just one of the most one of my most favorite moments of my entire life like it was just pure joy and so magical and then after we'd calmed down slightly we shared that moment for quite a long time together um and then, and then i was like i've got to tell my mum we called my mum and did a lovely little facetime with her and then we called adam's parents and did a lovely little facetime with them um which was really really wonderful i think because it's such a you know you're so like absolutely buzzing and like overflowing with excitement that it just feels like you need to share it with somebody and obviously it made total sense that we wanted that to be our parents we hung around there for quite a long time to be honest i just we just didn't want to break the spell of that moment um and we stayed until the sun went behind the trees basically so we took in all of the golden hour and it was just so gorgeous and since i've kind of like let it sink in a little bit and you know it's become to start to feel a bit more real i can't believe that such a perfect moment happened for me you know main character energy is something i really believe in and life's too short to not channel it you know what i mean like you have to grab every main character moment for yourself that you possibly can but that one was just kind of incomparable um because it just couldn't have been more perfect it was it was that fairy tale moment which i think i've always wanted when it comes to a proposal or getting married and maybe never really let myself latch on to too much because i just assumed that it would probably never happen for me we wandered back to the car after the sun had gone down and we sent the group chat messages out <laughs> to let our friends know and our phones literally burst into flames it was so <laughs> exciting and even thinking about it now like it fills my heart so much like all the reactions and the messages that we got from our friends were amazing and then it was kind of weird because we were like now we just have to drive again and go to <laughs> go to where we're spending the night so we got back on the road and that like section of the drive was just so special because it really it really felt so apparent to me how excited adam was as well like he it was the most excited i've ever seen him i've never really seen him like that before i'm sure a lot of it was like a little bit of relief and adrenaline as well like there was definitely a lot of adrenaline involved but seeing him like with that grin on his face <laughs> i've never really seen him like that before and he was it was like a you know a very giddy feeling between us and the other little detail of it as well which is just kind of unbelievable is when we then left the lake and drove off we realized that we had just got engaged on top of the world road top of the world road like can you actually believe that it's i couldn't have written it <laughs> if i was writing it for two characters in a book i couldn't have written it like it would just seem 
too silly and too perfect. Um, but it it really was. And yeah, that's that's how we got engaged. <laughs> so I'm trying to think where to go from there because that's like what actually happened. But I feel like there's so much else that I could talk about. I made a note on my phone of the most popular questions. There was two massive standout ones. The first one was, did you have any suspicions, inclinations that it was happening or was it a total surprise? That is by far and away the most asked question apart from please show us the ring. <laughs> Quite hard to answer this question without a lot of context around it. Um, so the proposal itself was a complete surprise. As I said, I was completely gobsmacked. It absolutely knocked me for six. I was so shocked. I, as I said, it was genuinely an out-of-body experience. But it turns out that Adam had been planning to propose on this holiday for a little while. Um, and he was just kind of going with the vibe that the moment would present itself <laughs> when it needed to. He hadn't like picked anything in particular and didn't really know when it was gonna happen, but he'd been carrying the ring around in his backpack <laughs> um, and was just waiting, was just waiting for the, the moment to happen and for the magic to all come together. He basically knew that he wanted it to be like a perfect little moment and he was really keen to make it just the two of us because I think he knew that I wouldn't like a big kind of public proposal and I don't think he was kind of expecting it to present itself so early on in the trip like it was literally the first day um but from what he's kind of told me he was like if I don't do this I'm gonna really regret it and it did transpire that we pretty much every kind of other beautiful destination that we went to check out um, there was always at least one other person around. It wasn't ever kind of just us because all the other places that we went to were much more kind of on the map and a lot more part of popular itineraries. This lake was just like a spontaneous little find that we happened to drive past. And he said that like, as I was kind of hovering around waiting for him to get his jacket, <laughs> the ring was like stuck in the netting of his bag and his inhaler was like tangled up in this netting and stopping him being able to get the ring box out of the bag, which is nerdy perfection. So it was very much a surprise proposal through and through. Um, and actually in the run up to this trip, I wanna be like quite honest while I talk about this because I think anyone who is around my age, if you're in your late 20s, early 30s, if you're in a pretty long-term relationship and you're not married, <laughs> I, I imagine that you probably relate to this quite a lot. The conversation <laughs> around us for the past couple of years, um, bearing in mind we have also attended 10 weddings in the last two years. What I can only describe as a bombardment of questions at pretty regular intervals in life. Almost every social occasion that we've attended in the past couple of years, there is literally an onslaught of questions from strangers and people you know alike about when you're gonna get married? When's it your turn? Why is it taking so long? When are you gonna pop the question? Are you thinking about getting married? These kind of questions that really, A, put you on the spot and you know we've got a very comfortable honest great relationship with really good communication but even then like that being confronted with questions like that when you're just trying to have a nice time <laughs> um is is really intense because that has been such a constant topic of conversation around us for a couple of years it's it's something that we have talked about together on multiple occasions because you know a couple of years ago when that kind of started happening we kind of had to be like we should talk about this we need to make sure that we're up we are on the same page and we've had like regular check-ins with each other to be like this is how i'm feeling about this you know we had moments where it was making it was so kind of relentless and so constant and even on my Instagram and stuff in the past six months. So when I say it was a surprise proposal, like I knew that one day we would get married. I was very confident in that fact. And it was something that we had both very much decided that we were on the same page for and we were both looking forward to one day, but I was absolutely not <laughs> expecting it to happen on this holiday. I was certain 
that he had not bought a ring because if he had and he'd been doing something secretive like that I would know about it. Turns out <laughs> I was very wrong about that. Um, so it's good to know that I have absolutely no accurate perception of myself whatsoever. I really thought this idea of like the romantic surprise was not something that was in my destiny. <laughs> um, but I'm very, I'm just so touched and quite emotional about the fact that that it really happened. I think deep down, don't know about you, um, but my, the, the seven-year-old self inside of me um, longs for, you know, princess moments where it's that special magic that you have always secretly wanted. And I very rarely let myself admit that to myself, I think. Um, and I think if I'm honest, that is it's really what I wanted. And I was just not allowing myself to really want it for fear of being disappointed. So to have actually got it is pretty special. And I think it's a real testament to how well Adam actually really knows me. So I know that was a very long winded answer, but I feel like, you know, there's quite a lot of context to a question like that. Like the moment itself was such a surprise. But then, as I said, like as we were approaching the lake, <laughs> there was a little bit of me that was like, wait, oh my God, what the heck? And being a 32 year old in a long-term relationship, um, it's a very prevalent thought at all times. Thanks to, mostly thanks to everybody else around you. The most asked, question was please can we see a close-up of the ring I wasn't sure whether I was gonna share this because I don't know I I was very worried that people would think it was like crass or showing off there was a lot of me that was like oh no people won't want to see it my messages say otherwise but perhaps if you think this is any of those things just avert your eyes and, and enjoy the nice conversation instead um, but if you do want to see a close-up I will do my best to do one right now. How close can I get before my camera freaks out? Okay, there we go. Uh, so this is our engagement ring. It's, I mean, I mean, it's perfect. <laughs> Literally perfect. Um, and I will give you a little explainer. As much as I can, I will leave the rest to Adam because I feel like the most important thing to tell you about it is that he designed it. I haven't really let that, fully sink in yet, I don't think. Um, I am absolutely obsessed with it. At any given moment, I am just doing this. Adam keeps laughing at me because every time he turns to me, I'm staring at it. I can really see what Gollum was dealing with now because that is me and this ring. You can only imagine the amount of Lord of the Rings jokes that have been made between us over the past week. <laughs> and I will get him to tell you about the process when he gets home because it's so interesting. Um, I love that he designed this himself without me and basically managed to design my perfect ring, but the process sounds so interesting. I would have loved it. It's so perfect to me that it's kind of hilarious um, because I should probably also add, we've never talked about rings. It suddenly become very apparent to me, something I'd never really thought about at all. Um, that a lot of my friends had basically like exactly spelled out what they wanted in an engagement ring. <laughs> Showed a Pinterest board, they pointed out what they like, what they didn't like, pretty much written a step-by-step -step guide of the ring that they wanted to be proposed with to their partner. Um, and that was, that seems to be quite a few of my friends all of a sudden. And I was like, by the way, do you want me to do that for you? Would you like me to write you a list of like things that I would like and things that I would not like? Would you like me to put together a Pinterest board or something? <laughs> and he was like, no, I back myself. <laughs> he was like, no, no, I'll, like when it comes to it, I back myself. And I was like, are you sure? Are you sure about that? <laughs> but he was just like, no, no, I'd know what to do. He was so like dismissive and cool about it. I was just like, okay then. I couldn't then just be like, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna show you exactly what I want. <laughs> like, because I mean, he was so confident in it that I had to just be like, 
okay. <laughs> That's literally the only ring discussion that we've had. I offered to, to make some suggestions of the kind of thing that I might like and he said, no, thank you, <laughs> I got this. I feel like it's such a reflection of everything that I love. I feel like it's got a real, almost like a, it sounds so cheesy. I feel like it's got a little bit of like a magical vibe to it. Almost like a little bit kind of like whimsical and almost like, like it sounds so silly, but like elf, like a little elfin, almost like a floral or a leafy feel to it. It kind of feels a little bit autumnal. I, I don't know. I just think it sums up everything I love in like aesthetics. I can't stop for staring at it. I feel like a crazy person. The the golem vibe is strong. Catch a fish, so juicy sweet. Golem, golem. So seeing as we've been chatting all things ring, I'm gonna pause right here and I'm now gonna insert whatever Adam decides <laughs> to tell me. So the most popular one was basically all about the ring. But I feel like it's more logical to ask you this one first, which is like, why, why now? Why, like, why? Why, th why that holiday and why, and like, oh, okay. when did you like decide? Over a year ago. Oh, wow. I think it was probably, <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm learning too. I'd say it was probably after, it might have, you know what, it might have just been after all those weddings that we had last year. I was like, we, we could do one of these. <laughs> we could do this. <laughs> when you started talking about this trip to Boston, I was like, oh, the January sales, I've always wanted to go my dream holiday I was like hmm <laughs> I'm gonna propose some point this year Lucy wants to book her dream holiday <laughs> and like two months later my brain was like oh but then typical me typical man I don't know how to describe it um I was like yep yeah, great decision made job done I was like oh, well, I actually need to do some <laughs> Thing in order to propose. The, the one fundamental thing you need to propose is have a ring. It's pretty like of the basic formula for a proposal. A ring is a pretty key factor. Yeah, but because in my head, like nine months earlier, I had gone, great, I'll propose on that holiday. I was like, <laughs> oh. Nine I, months is now. Yeah, I, made, I was like, the job, job done. I've made the decision. That was what I needed to do. And then it came around to it and I was like, oh no, there's one more crucial step here that I haven't considered. <laughs> I tried to do it online and I just looked online and so if you're a jeweler and you're watching this and you own, own an online shop, like I'm really sorry. But I imagine it's very, very hard because rings are obviously very intricate and getting a nice photo of these rings that makes it is obviously very hard. But I was just looking at these and I was like, they all look the same or they all look awful and I was like this is a nightmare because at this point obviously I'm like oh I've got you the know, countdown is on yeah three weeks or whatever to get this sorted and I was thinking like I'll go online I'll be able to find a few that I like and then go and shop or obviously I didn't know what the process was no one knows what the process is right when you do it because you've never done it before it's just one of those like fun adult things that you get to and you're like how do I do this and yeah. who can tell me about this I've never bought jewelry before in any yeah regard like my friends who are engaged or have got married yeah they want to ask them yeah because that was another question it was like did Adam tell anybody or like get advice from anybody on the ring process? No, he didn't I, tell anybody, I feared, did you? Feared, feared leaks. I almost said it by accident. Yeah. One thousand times. <laughs> I said to Lisa on holiday at one point on the first day. I almost said, "Oh, by the time we get home, we'll be fiancés." <laughs> like just my brain thought that thought, and I was like, "No, no, that's a secret." Don't say that one. Basically, had a week. Lucas Luke was working one weekend, so I had, uh, I had time. So I went to Richmond because I, again, friends who had got their wedding rings from um, jewelry shops in Richmond. So I was like, right, that must be somewhere where people sell rings. <laughs> <laughs> and I like wandered around the shops, like looking in the window, and I was like, oh my god, I started to get that like, oh, what have you? You've made a mistake here because you've left this too late, and you yeah. don't like any of these rings, and it's so overwhelming because it's just like rows and rows, and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I went into one jewelry shop called. Uh, can I mention them? Yeah, of course. They were good, so I'll yeah. mention them. Monroe's in Richmond. And I kind of walked in there like a like a lost little boy <laughs> and was like, hello, um, I've never done this before. <laughs> Funnily enough. <laughs> I, but I'm going to propose to my girlfriend. Um, how, <laughs> how do I get a ring? And they like looked at me like, 
Okay. We'll help you. Okay, come here. Like, wrap me in like a blanket. Like, like, did like loads of cool things. Like, we basically went onto Lucy's Instagram because she was like, oh, what does she wear? What does she dress? And I was like, perfect. <laughs> I have a girlfriend whose life is documented online. But it's There's such a good idea a because it's, it's literally like a library of someone's aesthetics and tastes, isn't it? If you were going to put a mirror in your home, any mirrors, would they be circular or square? And I was like, at first I was like, it's kind of a weird question. And I was like, think about our house. And I was like, we have like three mirrors and they're all round. <laughs> so yeah, round. And then everyone I've told this story to in person has been like, oh my God, I have a square mirror all and I would want a square ring. Or, yeah, like it basically, everyone I've mentioned it to has, has been like one to one mm. correct. Like, oh yeah, that's, I wouldn't want this type of ring and yeah, I have this type so of mirror. I was in there for, I think I was in there for like half an hour, probably the first her session and uh she was like how long have we got to do this and i was like well <laughs> <laughs> the voice getting higher and higher I was like, well, I'm glad, glad you've asked that because i was a little bit concerned about this um two weeks and then look at her face she was like <laughs> i'm so sorry and she was like we can do this she was like i like a challenge we can do this i'm not we quite can sure how you managed to leave it so last minute, but it literally doesn't surprise well, me in the slightest. Because I thought I could go and just buy a ring. If you weren't planning to like design one from scratch, and I, I suppose, wasn't necessarily planning on yeah. doing that from the off because I didn't know yeah. what the process. I never yeah. thought about it. So at the end of that session, she basically drew some sketches of based on what I said. After the first session. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Drew these sketch like three or four sketches of like the band and how the kind of diamond would sit. And I was like, oh, I really like that one. I really like that one. She, I went back there and she had like a load of samples of stuff that she had you know, designed or had like mocked up basically. And then- I wish I could see them all. No, because- I would love to like see the like full process you've got, of it though. You've got, you've well, got. I know I've got the, the one that matters, but it, like, like it's like you said, like the process is something yeah. that I would have found so interesting. Got up on the table all the different bits, and then we were sort of like, she was like, "Oh, you could do this ring with this here," and but what I would do is I would change the clasp and like basically how she would redesign it to fit. Oh yeah, she said about the sil that's that like the silver clasp. Yeah, so the, so obviously what the wanted the gold on the ring. So you can see like the clasp itself that the stone sits in is silver. Yeah, but the rest is gold. Because she was like, "Oh, we do that, then it will." it'll be less obvious that it's like... Yeah, know. and it's true, you can like not even see the clasp, it just looks yeah. like it's sitting there by itself, like magic. Like magic. <laughs> also, I didn't have the final ring, but we had like a final design, like I could, like in my hand I could hold like the ring and the, the diamond and like hold it next to you. It didn't fit because it wasn't built right mm -hmm. yet. But I was like, oh okay, like this is what it's gonna look like. I was like, great, that is good, I think. <laughs> and then I was always like coming home after these sessions, and Lucy's like, I think one, what I just been out to Richmond and came back and she was like, God, you have a nice time? I was like, meh, nothing. <laughs> but I wanted to be like, oh my God, this, at this session with Julie Puzzle, you'd have had it really interesting. But I was like, no, you can't obviously say that, you moron. And then the next one, I think I had football, so I'd gone before football, but told Lucy that I was already at football. But then I was running late for football because there was a tube delay, but I couldn't text her like, oh, I'm on the district line, it's going really slowly. Because Adam was like, oh, I did all these things that were really obvious and I felt like I'd given it away and I said the wrong thing all the time. I didn't even remotely clock for anything. There's no funny business going on. So we were flying on the Wednesday and it was the Monday. <laughs> But I knew, I knew it was going to be, she said it would, be, it would be Sunday, Monday or Tuesday. And she was like, what time are you flying on Wednesday? And I was like, I can't do Wednesday. <laughs> I was like, Lucy will actually murder me. Everyone yeah. remembers before we went to Florida and Adam decided on the day of flying to go and pick up a new phone and cutting it this fine to get into the airport. That last session, which I literally went in, got it, and was like, <gasps> quite like emotional it's seeing it. I was like, oh my God, like we've like, <laughs> we've made this. <laughs> and then there was another woman in the jewelry shop who was like, oh, what a lovely ring. If she doesn't say yes, I will. <laughs> Okay. Well, good to have a backup plan. Good to good to always have you know a reserve <laughs> option just in case you said no. I could have gone back to the lady. So I was in here two weeks ago for an engagement ring, and there was a woman in here who said she'd marry me. I put it in the bottom of my rucksack, and then ran upstairs. I was like, where can I put it up? Because where I'd usually put it is like where our passports are. So I was like, I can't put it there oh, because yeah, if Lucy, that shelf. it's like if Lucy goes in there and it, you know she's probably around for adapters or yeah. passports or whatever, then she might find it. So where would Lucy never go? Underneath my socks. Can't believe how yeah. how perfect it is. 
Well, that's it. It's and an like, amazing process, really. The fact that that's where we got to following me being online and being like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to give her a Harry bow ring. <laughs> the other thing that loads of people asked as well was, how did you know the ring size? Oh yeah, that's a really good, that's a really good question. So she had said, well, based on your, this is the jeweler again, that's another little thing. She was like, based on your height difference. So I was like, oh, probably like what, three or four inches between us. She was like, her ring finger will probably be not too far off your pinky finger. I was like, oh, that's Such really fun interesting. Fact. <laughs> and she was like, okay, but, so obviously this is quite a quick process. She was like, well, tonight I, put, I need you to email me if that is drastic, if you look down and she's got, you know, massive sausage fingers or like tiny little like spindly fingers. I was like, yeah. Oh, spindly fingers. I was like, well, I don't really know. On the sofa, just sort of like subtly place your hand next to hers and like try and gauge how big her fingers are. And to be fair, when you put, when you put them side by side, that is about right. I didn't even do that. Nick. I couldn't do it because you were reading or doing something yeah. and I couldn't just be like, and also I wanted it to fit, I wanted it to go on. I was yeah, like, it's much better for it to be a bit big. I was like, I'd rather it was too big, yeah. but you could then at least get it on, yeah. so you could have it on for a bit. But I didn't know, basically, <laughs> but I was like, I knew enough that I could be like, it needs to be yeah. bigger than this, because if it's this, then it might not, it might not go on. And then she gave me that. Oh yeah, it's got like a little... Uh, it's, like a, it's like a coil, basically. A little spring. Which is a top coil. tip for anybody who is proposing and hasn't really double check the size, make sure you take a little ring sizer with yeah. you and then they can pop that on too. But obviously we will have to go back to the jewellers to get yeah. it properly. That's so not a permanent to... fixture of the ring, <laughs> small plastic coil. I love it though because it's like a little fiddle toy, I'm like fiddling with it all the time. Yeah. So we have to go pop back in and get like a little certificate, don't we, for the ring. <laughs> no, it's a certificate that says, congratulations, <laughs> you got engaged. Best proposal it's like goes a, It's like to... a 10 meter badge. <laughs> um, I was going to get a certificate about the ring. I, I like, tried I my best yeah. at proposing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it'd be nice for it to fit properly because currently when I'm like washing my hair and when I'm in the shower and stuff, I can feel it like slipping and sliding around a bit and I'm slightly paranoid about it. If you told this, if you told the story, that's all from my side. Well, I said that it was like a, a spontaneous location choice. Yes, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted it to be... I was going to propose the next day, but then yeah. didn't because we found a nice place yeah. that day. And then I was like, Oh, okay, we'll pull up here. Oh, let me just get my let me just get my coat. It's like warm, yeah. and I've been driving. I was really hot. Were you nervous? I, I obviously was nervous. Yeah. Because we both know you both said it afterwards. Like we were, I think you maybe didn't think it was about to happen, but I think you knew something was. Well, up. I think we were both acting a bit weird. The minute that we like looked at each other, we both like clocked. And I was like, what was about to happen? <laughs> Sweating profusely and crying. <laughs> You're right, Adam. <laughs> yeah, I would just walk in my leg, which constantly being like, mm, you good? <laughs> yeah, it's really nice, here, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, like we're on a first date or something. <laughs> yeah, Lucy's like, should we go? And I was like, oh, one more thing first. Oh. And then that's when. But no, it was, it was just really exciting. And then obviously, yeah, quite a like, surreal sort of two hours sort of afterwards as well. Yeah. Just like the Boy Genius record on it, just drove. <laughs> yeah. and I then told basically all the stuff I've just said now. To Lucy, I was like, oh, I've had to keep all these secrets and I keep like, I just stressing me out. So here's everything that I've, you know, been sneaking about Aww. that she didn't even notice anyway. <laughs> I've always thought that I'm so like switched on and aware of everything around me. Turns out I haven't got a clue what's going on at any given moment. Mm. We did it. Nice to see you all again. <laughs> yeah, we did it. There you go. I'm going to be around a lot more often now. Well. Well, no, not really. Not a whole lot's changing, really. What do I mean to just... say? I'm not around more often. I'm just around forever. Yes. <laughs> we basically celebrated for the entirety of the time that we were away. It was actually... Do you know what? Getting proposed to on the first day of a holiday is such a vibe because the whole trip then became our engagement trip and it actually kind of felt like a hood. We kept saying it kind of feels like a honeymoon. It's like an engagement moon. An engage moon. I think the phrase, ah, screw it, we're engaged, was used like 50 times. <laughs> Do you think you'll get married in the next couple of years? Yes, I would think so. Um, I'm not 100% sure it'll be next year, but I'm 100% sure if it's not next year, it'll be the year after. Um, but I think I would like it to be next year. But at the same time, I don't want to rush it and I do really want to enjoy just being engaged. Where do you even start planning a wedding? 
That's a very good question. We had this conversation over one of the dinners. We were like, where do you think we actually start with all of this? Like, what's the first thing you have to do? And our conclusion was that, I mean, logically, you probably start with your guest list. Must be the first thing, right? Because then once you've got your numbers, then you go to the venue sizes and you find venues that are the right size for the amount of people. One very fortunate twist that we have got under our belts uh, just so happens to be that Adam's sister-in-law and also now my future sister-in-law, oh, that's so exciting. Um, she's a wedding planner. So next family gathering, you best believe I'm coming with the questions. <laughs> what does your perfect wedding look like? You tell me, <laughs> you probably, no, as much, your guess is as good as mine, honestly. We've got some a real array of experience under our belt and every single one that we've been fortunate enough to go to has been so wonderful. In some ways it's good because you can cherry pick all the good stuff from everybody's weddings and just bring them together into one. Um, but it's also a bit overwhelming because it's like, well, I loved all of them. So which, uh, it's like the fig tree. <laughs> but what does your perfect wedding look like? Venue vibes dress. I, I literally don't know, I couldn't tell you. Um, I am more inclined to think that we will go for something a little more on the casual end of the scale. We have been lucky enough to attend weddings that are like something out of a magazine where it has really been like a no expense spared affair and they have been incredible, but that will be us. <laughs> I am determined, and I'm sure as will feature in videos along the way, to make as much of it as I can myself and get really hands-on and like, you know, get crafty. Whatever we end up doing will be a real kind of like all hands on deck. Everybody mucking in, everybody playing a part in it. That kind of vibe. That's, that's the first thing that I think of. As for a dress, only things that I am pretty confident about are that it will be floor length, and that there'll be a sleeve because you know me, I love a sleeve. <laughs> but I hope this was like a nice sit down catch up. I just really felt like I wanted to fill you in on what had actually happened and the fact that I was so shocked and I still can't believe it. Can you believe it? I'm, en I'm engaged. I'm only 17. I am really excited for what feels like a new chapter in our relationship. Something that I didn't mention earlier Shall I go into this? I've already been talking for so long. I think it's very natural when you've been together a long time and nothing in your relationship has changed for a little while to get to a point where it feels like you're ready for some forward momentum, if, if that makes any sense. The last kind of major thing in our relationship that happened was buying this house and that was four years ago. And since that happened, I mean, we all know all too well, there was a couple of years where life really became very stationary. I think that really slowed things down for a lot of people and kind of put a real kind of slow motion feeling on life. It had been quite a long time since there'd been that kind of feeling of forward momentum for our relationship. And I think it's very natural, even if you're not super bothered about marriage or engagement or whatever, like it's very valid to feel, oh, I would I would like that that next, jump in my life to happen um so just for anyone who's feeling like that as well like i feel like that's a very valid feeling and now there's this feeling of like oh this is the next really exciting thing that we get to do together we've we've reached it this is happening and it's just a really nice important feeling to like feel that forward progression together and like you're taking steps together like feels really nice so now that my coffee is officially stone cold um, I think I'd better stop talking. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a nice little catch up. I was just really excited to tell you all about it. The like swell of love that we felt over the past week has been like genuinely so touching. And I would just like to say a big thank you again if you sent a nice message or comment or anything. And I will see you very soon with another video. Also, I promise I won't be talking about weddings all the time. I will still be talking about books and other nonsense. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye. Or oh, should, should I wave this way? <laughs>